Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. No, light is on fire. A lot of fire, guys. Raku is an ancient Asian process of rapidly firing ceramics. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to throw a piece on the potter's wheel and then I'm going to apply a texture to it so that it comes out like this on this special Raku clay which can withstand temperatures from 2000 degrees down to zero. It doesn't explode because there is grog and kyanite in the clay and that gives it um, the ability to withstand thermal shock. I have about seven pounds of clay and I'm gonna start off by centering the clay. Wanna get the clay to stick to the wheel first. So up we go, centering the clay. Now by bringing the clay up and down, what's happening is you're getting the air out and you're aligning the particles of clay. So you can actually make a beautiful vessel. And I can feel the clay, it's getting very smooth, there's no bumps. And let's see if we could take it all the way down. Looks pretty good. Now it's gonna get interesting. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna spread it out. Compress the bottom so it doesn't crack. Push in and we're gonna create the cylinder by evenly pulling the piece of clay up. See how it's growing? Now I'm gonna collar the piece which means I'm gonna use both hands to bring it in a little bit. Make it really smooth. So now we're gonna put sodium silicate. It was originally used by doctors. If you broke an arm or a leg, they would put this on the cast and it would harden the cast. Now we're gonna heat it up until it's dry enough where it's not tacky. How long does that take? About five minutes. Okay, so now the piece is dry. Now watch what happens once I start pushing out and it's gonna transform the entire piece. Wow, look at the cracks. And now I'm gonna try to push it some more. I'm gonna really, really, really stretch the piece. The sodium silicate made the piece drier so I could push and make the shape without it collapsing. And I'm gonna add a little bit of a dramatic little rim. Finished. Okay, the next step is it's gonna dry. Then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna trim the bottom. This piece will air dry for about a week. Then it's gonna get fired in the kiln and it's gonna come out like this, a hard white colored look to it. Then I'm gonna glaze it and it's gonna go in the Raku kiln. Everything we do here is double fired, even the Raku. So we're gonna load the kiln with the pieces. Now, if you'll notice, um, the pieces are not touching and they're all very dull. Um, the first firing is about 30 minutes. So we're gonna light it. And in a half an hour, we're gonna come out. The pots are going to go into the pits in the ground and they're gonna go on fire and then we're gonna cover the pieces. 12 minutes later, we're gonna open them. We're gonna see all these amazing colors and we're gonna hit them with the hose to lock in the color and it's gonna be a great thing. What I like about it is you can never predict what's gonna happen. You've got small crackles, big crackles, all kinds of colors. It's exciting, and that's why we do it.